Okay, this video, we're going to do this problem here um, in the smaller figure. So, we'll start part A. In the smaller figure, which is this smaller figure here, what is the ratio of the shaded to non shaded rectangles? Now, there's different ways of writing a ratio. You can go shaded to non shaded or shaded with, instead of the word to, you can have the colon uh, dots. Or you could go shaded over non-shaded as a fraction. Right? So I'm going to do that. Shaded over non-shaded. Because we, we'll get it as a fraction, and we might have to um, we might have to simplify it. So let's count the number of squares. So first of all, we need the total number. Well, it'd be nice to know the total, the shaded and the non-shaded all, right? Um, do I just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I mean, how, what's a quick way to count squares in a rectangle like that? So you can see there's four on the width here, and there's six on the length, right? And to get the area, you go four times six is twenty-four, right? Because it's look, it's six fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six columns of four. That's twenty-four. Or you could think of it this way: there's four rows with six in it. Four rows of six. Right. So there's twenty-four total. Um, how many shaded? How many non-shaded? Well, shaded. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shaded. Right. A non-shaded. Twenty-four minus eight is sixteen. Or you can count them, I guess. 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Now that doesn't look right. Um, two, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, 6, 7, 8. Oh yeah, that is right. Shaded to non-shaded. See, it's not shaded to total, it's shaded to non-shaded. So there's twice as many non-shaded as shaded, right? So that's it as a ratio, written as a fraction, basically, and you can write that as one over two. There's two other other ways to write a ratio as one to two or one to two with um, colons. So let's write it three ways: a half, one to two, and one to two with the colons. Now, B shade the larger rectangle so that the ratio of shaded to non-shaded rectangles is the same as in part A. So it has to be ratio one to two. So let's count how many we have total. One, two, three, four, five, six on the width here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the length. Right? Nine times six is fifty-four, right? Let's write that down. Nine times six is fifty-four total, right? Now we need to split it up. Um, for every as uh, one to two, right? So we we'll just go over this last one for example. He had twenty-four total, and it was split up into sorry, it's twenty-four total, and it was split into eight shaded, sixteen non-shaded, right? So um, if you think about it, it was actually split three ways, wasn't it? Right, because you can split it 16 into 8 and 8, right? So if we take 54 and split it three ways, that'll help us, won't it? So um, 54 over 3 is what? 3 into 5 goes one time, remainder 2. 3 into 24 goes 8 times. So 54 is 18 plus 18 plus 18, right, basically. Okay, 18, 18, 18, right? And if we take this 18 here to be the non-shaded and these two 18s to be, or this 18 here to be the shaded and these two to be the non-shaded. Now we split it up into ratio of 1 to 2, haven't we? Right? So that would be 18 to, um, 18 plus 18, right? 36, right? So now we've got to shade the larger rectangle so that the ratio is the same as in part A, right? So we've got to shade 18 and don't shade 36, right? 
So we've got columns of six here. So that's six, 12, 18. Okay, so there's our 18 shaded, right? And then non shaded is the others, right? But, but these guys are shaded, right? There's three columns of um, six each. And that's one way of doing it. Like, you could do it any way you want. You could have also done two rows of nine. So you could shade two rows of nine. Or you could shade one row here and one row down here. Or you could find a, a little block of 18 or something somehow. Um, you know, you could go like six across and three up. There's a little block of 18, right? Three times six. Okay. You gotta shade, shade 18 squares. It doesn't really matter how you shade it. So now let's do part C. For each of the figures, what is the ratio of the shaded rectangles to the total? Can you press pause and do that? For each of the figures, what is the ratio of the shaded rectangles to the total rectangles? Okay. So I'm going to do both just for fun. I mean, the first one we had shaded, we'll do shaded ah, over total. Right? So the first one we had 8 shaded out of a total of 24. Now what does that simplify to be? 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 24 goes 3 times. And then the other one we had 18 shaded over a total of 54, right? So, so there's 3 18s and 54 as we saw. So that also will simplify down to one third, right? So what is the ratio of the shaded rectangles to total? The answer is one third, which can also be written um, also be written as one to three, right? One to three or one to three with the colon. 